Welcome back to my channel. This is Butterfly Spirit 314. And today, guys, I wanted to show you some of the parts on a sewing machine that's here in my book. So these are not all the parts in a sewing machine, but these are some of the, the parts of the sewing machine that I've been introduced to. And I got to tell you, the first time I read this page, I was like, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. What am I supposed to do? Am I really supposed to be getting into sewing with all this stuff? How am I going to figure this out? However, I read past this page and one of the great things is since I have been doing research on YouTube and watching some videos on uh, beginner sewing videos, then I've been able to learn a little bit about um, sewing machines. This particular type of sewing machine here is actually a mechanical machine. That's actually a machine that you would um, you would basically use your hands in terms of like making adjustments to the sewing machine. Okay, so this is a mechanical machine. Uh, there is another version of sewing machine, which is a computerized machine. Um, some people like a computerized machine because it has features of being able to make uh, adjustments automatically. Um, but as a beginner, I really want to start off with a mechanical machine because I want to get the basics of sewing first with a mechanical mechanical machine, and then I will move up to a computerized machine if I really feel like I want to. Great thing about a mechanical machine is that a mechanical sewing machine is a sewing machine that actually lasts a really, 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 really long time. So it lasts for years at a time, mostly without even needing to be maintenance. So that's the well, that's like one of the main reasons that people get mechanical um, sewing machines, okay? And every time I hear the word machine, <laughs> no matter where I am, I think about a sewing machine, okay? I just literally do, that's what comes to mind, sewing machine, okay? So every sewing machine is, you know, it's not just one type of sewing machine. There, it breaks down to mechanical machines, which this is an example of here. And then there is a computerized machine. And what I'll do is if I happen to be at a, um, if I happen to be at a fabric store, then what I will do is I will show you guys the, basically the difference between them, which just like the external difference between, you know, the mechanical machine and the, um, computerized machine and stuff. I plan for this to be like a really short video, but I feel like there's nothing wrong with having a longer video to explain some things to people just because, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And I had no idea before I even started learning about sewing machines that there was even a difference. And I really have to credit the people um, whose videos I've been watching on sewing because they've been very, 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 very helpful uh, towards me being led in the right direction. So I really appreciate, you know, being able to um, watch videos on YouTube where people are actually talking about sewing machines, their experience, the best type of sewing machines, things that beginners should know before they get started with sewing and the sewing machine and stuff. Like, you know, I had no idea. I mean, sure, I did hand sewing when I was younger, but it's a whole different ball game when you actually start. And yes, I had family and consuming science in high school or home ec. So I had that, did a little sewing, right? But it's been years since that. And who remembers all the stuff from home ec or family and consuming science class? Like nobody does. So um, getting into this, I know this is going to be a lot. It is going to take me time, but I'm really committed to it. And I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys um, some of the parts of the sewing machine and it can get pretty technical um, when it comes to a sewing machine but you know if you're somebody starting out with sewing don't let that scare you away from sewing just go ahead and you know just take it one step at a time you know because it'll take time to make progress but the overall great thing is being able to you know use a machine that you can actually make things out of that's something I think is really super cool so I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, feel free to comment on my video. Um, I plan to put this video and other videos on like a sewing playlist um, so that you guys, if you want to watch my other videos, you can. Um, so thank you guys for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>